so hi everyone we are back with another exciting tutorial on model context protocol and as you can see on my screen there is a very special blue button present on chat gpt that is mcp yes you assumed it right this time i would be showing you how you can integrate mcp servers in chat gpt and now chat gpt can control any mcp server any mcp tool be it powerpoint mcp blender mcp file system and what not in this particular tutorial i will be showing you how i am controlling blender mcp using chat gpt and then i will be telling you all the steps how to do this integration but let's first see the demonstration so first of all you need to click on this additional mcp button you won't find this in your chat gpt so here you can see that this is an instruction we need to insert this once you have inserted just add your prompt create a basic house with very basic elements in blender now let me hit enter and then i will open my blender application to show you the updates in real time as you can see my blender is up at the background chat gpt has started coding for bl using blender tools as you can see and it will be able to create a house for you directly in blender so that's the best part of mcp servers as you can see the house has been created this is quite interesting using chat gpt so how i did this i will be telling you all the things step by step but the house looks quite interesting to me now i'll be telling you what's the magic recipe behind this so recently i came across this github repo mcp super assistant which helps you to integrate mcp servers with any of the chat uis be it deep seek grok open router google ai studio and what not he has also added some demonstrations and certain key features are also present it has also mentioned how the particular github repo works but we are not much interested into it i'll be showing you how to get started with mcp super assistant to integrate mcp server with any chat ui so as you can see here the first thing is to you need to add it as a chrome web store page you need to add it as a extension in your web browser so once you click here this is the chrome extension that i'm talking about this is already added in my system mcp super assistant once you have added it you can see that mcp assistant would be shown here with this particular sign yes once done the next steps are quite easy you need to run this particular command npx sora patel 139 mcp super assistant proxy at the latest config this is very important so this is the same config that you need to provide for cloud ai desktop application so if you don't know you need to replace this particular json path with let me open my cloud application and you need to go to files go to settings go to developer go to edit config and here is a cloud desktop config copy the full path copy as path and change that dot config.json with this particular path that's it now once you run this particular command as you can see on my screen in my command line i am been running this for a very long time now i have been enjoying it a lot so you would be able to see all the codes that are getting generated by different ai so let me close this out and restart it so that you are able to see it this is the entire command i am passing this is the full path for my cloud desktop config you can use any config.json if you wish to create but i think using the cloud one we have been following on this channel is quite easy now your mcp servers are up on your local system and all the mcp servers that are mentioned in that particular config would be now visible to any chat ui yes in my case the mcp server that is visible is blender mcp for now but you can add multiple i think already in this channel i have covered a number of mcp servers you can check out how to add them 
once done your job is still not over yet go to chat gpt and here you can see that this button should be appearing for you this blue button restart it or close entire browser again restart chat gpt this button should be now visible to you here once done you need to turn on all the buttons and try attaching it attach the instruction or insert or copy paste whatever works for you for different uis different buttons would be working for like for example in case of deep seek you might be able to attach the instruction in case of chat gpt as you saw i was inserting so you need to test out which ui supports which version once done all the mcp tools would be visible to you and you can now use any mcp server with any chat ui too so this is great because using with cloud ai was quite limiting for me and cloud AI doesn't provide a free version for any of its models so now you can run mcp servers unlimited times with the best of the ais i hope you like this tutorial and you try integrating your favorite mcp servers with chat gpt thank you so much